Hello, Sanford, and welcome to another episode of Beck's Bench. I'm Beck Taylor. Today, Beck's Bench wants to explore the bench sciences at Sanford. Opportunities for Sanford's researchers to contribute to scientific discovery and to contribute to Sanford's research mission. And so that brings us today to the College of Health Sciences and to the McWhorter School of Pharmacy and one of our pharmaceutical research labs where faculty work hand in hand with students on scholarly research projects. These projects not only provide amazing mentoring opportunities for faculty and students, but the research also contributes to our understanding of real life health challenges, potentially helping many patients around the world. Today, we're speaking with recent Sanford Pharmacy graduate, Tyler Kalizak, who assisted with pharmacy professor, Dr. Patty Jumbo's research on a potential future treatment for Alzheimer's disease. Well, Tyler, welcome to Beck's Bench. Glad to have you today. Hey, Dr. Taylor, thank you very much for having me today. So when I say words like working on a potential treatment for Alzheimer's disease. That sounds pretty important. <laughs> what does that mean to you? Yeah, you know, I think the first word that comes to mind for me personally is humbling. Um, just to think that maybe I have a small part in playing towards achieving that goal is something that's very fulfilling to me. Um, another word that kind of comes to mind would be optimistic, knowing that somebody like Dr. Jumbo as well as other research professionals are here, um, really with the ultimate goal of trying to improve the lives of people suffering from this condition. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm an economist, I'm not a scientist. So give us a little sense of what this work entails. I understand your research, Dr. Jumbo's research, entails fruit flies. Say a little bit more about that. You know, I, asked, I probably asked Dr. Jumbo the same exact question, of why, why the fruit fly on my first day? And you know, actually they have a lot of advantages, not just because of the low cost, um, generally low maintenance and really fast reproductive rates, but honestly, I think the biggest key advantage that they have is that their genome, you know, what they're made up of is actually pretty simple, but what that allows us to do is really uh, focus on specific variables that we're looking for, and then try to find associations for stuff, uh, i.e. like Alzheimer's disease, where we're specifically looking for some of the hallmark signs like decreased uh, locomotive and, and memory defects. So I know this is ongoing research, mm -hmm. but are there some results or outcomes that you can talk about? There was a recent publication Dr. Jumbo did finding a correlation with improved memory and locomotion with a medication that's traditionally used for blood pressure and like hypertension, which is a lisinopril, which was very surprising and also very exciting for future applications. So the research that we found was actually building off of that original publication from her. Oh, that's fantastic. So. You, as a young scientist, get to work with a faculty member, Dr. Mm -hmm. Jumbo. What's it like to be um, side by side in the research lab with somebody like Dr. Jumbo? It's, it's awesome. It's been a really a great experience for me overall. Um, for somebody younger as, and as a student wanting to look for uh, mentors and people to learn for, from, when you find somebody that you know, loves their job and is passionate about what the work that they do, that's the hallmark person that I personally would look for um, as, a, as a mentor. So having worked with Dr. Jumbo, being a part of a research project like this, uh, say more about how important this kind of research is mm -hmm. and why a university like Sanford ought to be doing this kind of research. Well, when you see the drive and the passion that Dr. Jumbo has for this research, it really shows you that, hey, that there's meaning in this, in, in Alzheimer's, not only because of the amount of passion that she puts towards it, but because of, there's, you know, there's really only one FDA approved drug for the disease state. So finding any kind of additional research towards answering, uh, solving this problem or answering these questions is extremely important. What kind of advice would you give to a student who maybe has the opportunity to work in the research lab alongside uh, a, a scientist like Dr. Jumbo? They might be a little hesitant to do that. What kind of encouragement would you give them? Some of the encouragement that I would give them would be if you are a student who is, is passionate about helping others and is specifically in the medical field, really ask questions and is able to kind of get that application-based learning um, and, and want to learn from that aspect. There's no shortage of, of faculty members doing research here at Sanford that is going to foster that environment and help you thrive in that environment here at Sanford, I believe. Where do you hope to go from here? Here? 
I, I, I want to build on everything that I've learned, really trying to objectively answer these questions either through the scientific method and, and being able to apply that learning and actually test for questions that I have. Um, I think that that's an applicable field that even if I don't go into research, I can apply that application-based learning in any field of medicine that I, I plan to go through. Great. Tyler, thanks for talking to us today. We're proud of you. We're proud of Dr. Jumbo and the important work you're doing to improve the, the lives of others. Thank you for joining us. Right, thank you, Dr. Tyler. I appreciate you. you. If you want to read more about Dr. Jumbo's research into Alzheimer's disease, be on the lookout for our next Seasons magazine. There you'll find an in-depth look into her and our students' important work. Well, thanks again for watching this episode of Beck's Bench. Until next time, I'm Beck Taylor, and of course, go Bulldogs.